best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. When you're the sports blue chip prospect with an appetite for destruction, you welcome all comers. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is no different. And on July 24th in Golden Boy's comeback show, he'll find himself in a fight against his toughest foe to date in Samuel Vargas. Ortiz is as good as they come, or even better. At 22, the man is a force to be reckoned with in the welterweight division. And since making his pro debut, everyone who's traded shots with the young phenom quickly learned that they have bitten off much more than they can chew. Never having made it past the sixth round, Ortiz likes to make quick work of his foes. But Samuel Vargas is as tough and durable as Ortiz is ever likely to face. After falling short in fights against the likes of Errol Spence Jr., Danny Garcia, and Amir Khan, getting a win over arguably the sport's brightest prospect will certainly boost his name and credibility for more big fights moving forward. For Vargas, a fighter who spent the majority of his 38 fight career fighting in his adoptive country of Canada, this Colombian born scrapper has made a name for himself by always showing up fight night ready to throw down. Known for his rock'em sock'em style of doing business, Vargas takes a few licks before firing back at his opponent like a rocket launcher, being able to play tit for tat with the best of them. This is a crossroads battle for both men. At 31, Vargas' age and collective punishment is doing him no favors. But a win over Ortiz could see him netting huge paydays and put him right back at the front of the line. And for Ortiz, a win over Vargas puts him one step closer to world title contention and his first real test against a world-class talent. Although perfect in his young career, Ortiz will have his hands full with a fighter like Vargas. Having shared the ring with some of the top welterweights in the world, Vargas knows what to expect. Taking his fights against Spence and Garcia on very short notice, he also isn't afraid of a tough name. His fight against Khan was one of the best outings of his career. With a proper camp, he took the former unified super lightweight world champion the distance and managed to drop Khan in the third round. While the experience factor leans towards Vargas, youthfulness and power are on Ortiz's side. Come fight night, Ortiz will be nine years younger than Vargas and has never gone the distance. Conversely, Vargas isn't in the market for a boring fight and has no intention of being timid. When these two do throw down in the ring, it will be an amazing test for the both of them. Can a young, hungry prospect with a knack for finishing his opponents start the COVID comeback with another knockout? Or will a veteran fighter have used the pandemic shutdown to craft the perfect game plan and show Ortiz what professional boxing is all about? All these questions will be laid to rest when Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Samuel Vargas lace up the leather this July in a scrap that surely won't disappoint.